this video tutorial i will explain how to receive the message asynchronously using a message listener here you can see client 1 which is a message producer which will create the message and sends the message to the queue here you can see client 2 which is a message consumer which uh, consumes the message from the queue and uh, acknowledges back to the queue in this example we will use uh, queue of uh, active mq and uh, we have developed uh, two application the first one is uh, spring jms producer application which will uh, send the message to the queue and uh, second application is uh, spring jms uh, consumer application which will uh, consume the message from the queue we will see here you can see spring jms uh, producer application and uh, here you can see spring jms uh, consumer application Here I have defined a class uh, messaging configuration. It is a configuration class. Spring container read this uh, configuration class and it creates a connection factory object. To create a connection factory object, Spring container needs to know ActiveMQ broker URL. Here I have defined the URL. Once a connection factory object is created, Spring container creates a JMS template object. To create a JMS template object, Spring container needs connection factory object and the message queue. And here I have defined the message queue. Then Spring container creates a message converter. Here I have defined the class app config, which is the main configuration class. Spring container read this configuration class and it makes sure all the dependent objects are created and auto wired properly. JMS template provides an abstraction which hides all the complexities of JMS communication. JMS template will take care of uh, creating the connection, creating the session, creating message producers, creating message consumers, etc. And uh, using JMS template, we can uh, send the message to the queue. And uh, also, we can use uh, JMS template to receive message from the queue. Here I have defined the class uh, product which implements uh, serializable interface and uh, it has uh, three properties product ID, name and uh, quantity. Here I have defined the class uh, message sender. It has a send message method which accept uh, product object. This method is responsible for sending product object to the queue using send method of JMS template. Here I have defined the class message producer app. Here I have created a context object by reading a spring configuration class using getbean method of context object getting a message sender object from a spring container. Then I am calling a send message method of message sender object and sending the product object to the queue here you can see the queue and the queue is empty now now queue has been created and uh, Q has uh, one message. Next, we will see consumer application.
here I have defined the class uh, message receiver which implements uh, message listener interface and provide implementation of uh, on message method. Whenever Q receives the message, automatically this uh, on message method will be called and uh, it will keep on uh, consuming the message asynchronously. Here I have defined the class uh, messaging configuration. It is a configuration class. Spring container read this uh, configuration class and it creates a connection factory object, message listener container object, JMS template object and message converter object. In message listener container, I have set uh, message listener. So whenever uh, message receives to the queue, automatically message listener container will call on message method of uh, message listener. Here I have defined the class uh, message consumer app. Here I have created a context object by reading a spring configuration class. When you run this program, it will keep on uh, waiting for the message from the queue. Whenever message come, this uh, application will consume the message asynchronously. Currently one message is there in the queue. And here you can see it consumes the message. I am sending the message. And here you can see immediately it consumed. You can see one more time. And here you can see it consumed again. Asynchronously, the messages has been consumed. We have sent six messages and all the six messages has been consumed. Number of consumers are one. You can get uh, Java source code link for uh, each video 
in the description section of the video. Here you can see the description section. Click on uh, show more. And uh, here you can see the Java source code links. Click on uh, these links to get the Java source code.